What is going on YouTube? It's your favorite YouTuber, me and my kicks coming at you with another detailed review and on foot of the Reebok Answer 5 White and Silver Edition, man. Coming up. Getting into the details of the shoe, the shoe comprises of a leather and a patent leather upper. As you can see, like this like patent leather right here is really yellow over time. And I mean, now I'm not gonna lie, due to the fact of me having, um, you know, drop fronts, it has been exposed to more light than it usually would have. Cause if I didn't have drop fronts, it would be in the box, just chilling somewhere in a cool spot with the silica packets. But I mean, just to be chilling in a little bit of sunlight or a little bit of light for over two, two and a half years and to get this much yellowing is unacceptable, I cannot lie. Um, but anyways, as you can see where the actual white is, that's where the um, leather comes into play. So that part is leather and the cream part is where the um, um, patent leather comes in. As you can see, you got that silver part right there in the middle, it comes all the way towards the middle part of the shoe. That's one of the um, best parts of the shoe in my opinion. You got the i3 logo back there and and just to um, talk a little bit more about patent leather and, and like yellow and all white patent leather yellows, some yellow um, yellows faster than others. Like if anyone remembers the Air Jordan 11 anniversary, like over time those turn into, from like an all white shoe to like a cream, cream shoe. So, you know, now I'm not mad at the fact that this yellow, I'm just mad that it yellow so quickly. Getting towards the back of the shoe, you got the strap right here towards the top where the silver is, you got the, um, um, Allen Iverson uh, signature and on the medial side of the shoe is almost exactly like the lateral side of the shoe getting towards the lacing system of the shoe is just your standard a5 lacing you got the i3 logo right here and it goes all the way up and then you got the silver part and then on the top of the tongue you got the um, i3 logo in silver as well it's just a nice you know plain shoe just regular white and silver nothing really truly special about it and then on the insole of the shoe the insole has like AI's like portrait in the insole i'll put a picture of it to the side of me so you can see what i'm talking about but overall just your standard a5 white and silver as far as sizing goes with this shoe i would suggest going true to size even if you have a fat a wide a normal or a narrow foot these shoes retail at 150 dollars and how i came across my pair was when these came out well when these came out originally back in like 2001 2002 i always wanted this colorway because you know, but growing up, I definitely liked the A4s, I definitely liked the A5s and the A6s, and I seen a couple of my classmates with this shoe, and I always wanted it. And back in the day, I don't know if they used a different type of patent leather for this shoe, but the patent leather didn't turn so easily. Like, you know, I remember the people wearing the all-white ones, like, they wore them, you know, for a good, you know, five, six months, and then they got beat. But with these, they used, like, a cheap patent leather on this um shoe. So like, I, they, this shoe came out in 2019 and I haven't worn it at all. And if you could really see, I mean, you, I'm sure I showed you in the um, shoe details, but this patent leather is turning already. It's like turning cream and that's pretty messed up, man. Like, you know, they should have used a better quality patent leather than this. Like I've got a couple of um, um, Jordan 11s with um, white patent leather on there that hasn't turned as quickly. Over time, any white patent leather is gonna turn quickly, but I feel that if you use a better quality patent leather, it won't turn as quickly and they did not use it in these shoes. But anyways, um, I always wanted this shoe. When I found out that they was using white patent leather, I kind of was going to pass on the shoe, but I had I got this shoe for a steal and I really couldn't pass up on it. I was I want to say I was at the um, Champs downtown and they had this marked for like 30 bucks, 40 bucks. And um, I was with my friend uh, who worked at Foot Locker at the time and I was able to get these for 50% like off that. So I got these shoes for like $20, man. Now, once again, I wanted this shoe and to get this shoe from $150 to $20, you can't beat that, man. And you know, since I got it for that great discount, Foot Locker price, cue the video. How about that? Everybody, even myself included, thought that ball was going to Kyle Corver right there for an easy three. $20 for these, you can't beat these for a stick. But due to the fact that this like shoe is turning real quick, more than likely I'm gonna just try and sell it. And I and I won't like hit nobody over the head with it. More than likely I'm gonna try and sell it for like $40, $50. 
because I'm sure somebody wants this shoe that missed out, they can still get it. Like I've seen pairs sell on StockX for like 70, 80, sometimes 100 bucks. So, you know, selling it for $40, $50 ain't bad. I mean, the reason I, I'm not selling it for like what I really could get for it is because these like areas is, you know, creamed out. And it's like, that's crazy after like just two years or two or three years having the shoe, the shoe just like really turned that quickly. But anyways, I mean, I love the A5 um, silhouette, the model. You know, I'm glad I was able to get the shoe for way under retail in my collection. You know, I'm mad that Reebok didn't use the best um, quality white patent leather on this shoe. Or they, they should have just went all leather. If this patent leather was all leather, this definitely will be a keeper in my collection because the, if this was regular white leather, as you can see, the white leather on the shoe stayed the same color. If you'd have just used all white leather, shoe would have definitely banged even harder in my opinion. Now, without further ado, here's an on for look of the Reebok Answer 5 White and Silver Edition. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching this video today. I really do appreciate it. Smash that like button if you like this video. Also, comment down below what's your best Reebok shoe that you have in your collection. It could be a Reebok question, a Reebok answer one, four or five, could be some shacks, camps, whatever, man. Just comment that down below and we can chop it up in the comment section. Also, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing, man? Hit that subscribe button, takes nothing but a couple seconds, and you'll be notified of when I drop future videos. And lastly, peace.